All right, this is John Kolo with GrowingYourGreens.com. Today, another exciting episode for you coming at you from my front yard garden here. And as you guys can see, uh, spring is underway. We're almost hitting summer now, not quite. And as you guys can see, I got uh, some of my summer garden planted out. And this video, which is a, hopefully a short format video, <laughs> is to just let you guys know that it's never too late to plant a garden or start planting your own food at home. You know, even though we're like well into maybe a month and a half past my last frost date here, I'm still planting things out and just because I, I didn't plant it right in the beginning of the season doesn't mean you could be like, oh, I missed the whole season, man. I can't grow anything. I want you guys to grow no matter where you live, no matter what time of year it is. And even if it's snowing outside, you can plant some sprouts and microgreens indoors. That being said, the growing season here runs from like uh, maybe April to like November, maybe December. So it's like, depending on the year, six to seven months long. We're only like a month and a half or so in. So I still have plenty of time to, you know, plant plants and get them producing. Now the tips I want to give you guys, if you do plant late and aren't at the beginning of the season, which I always encourage you guys to plant in the beginning of the season, but there are benefits actually to planting a little bit later. Um, number one, you want to start off with uh, plants. So, you know, especially if you're trying to grow tomatoes and you're starting off, a, you know, a month and a half later, you don't want to start by seeds. That's not a good idea because these transplants have already been started like 60, you know, I don't know, 30 days ago, a couple weeks ago, right? So you're going to have a jump on it. Even better yet than getting these small six packs is getting larger plants like these guys. These are like four inches. And so like this, these four inches, look at that. There's already a little baby zucchini on here growing. This is an eight ball zucchini. And uh, you know, um, these are the four inches here. I got, I got uh, zucchini and cucumbers and some pumpkins, some uh, melons. And uh, you know, that gives you a jump on the season. So this saves you time. As much as I would like to start my own seeds, you know, a small percentage of what I'm growing is actually started by seed. A lot of it is done by plant starts because I don't have the time to you know, plant ahead and, you know, start my seeds early and whatnot. And I always try to support local growers growing high quality plants, of course, at the best prices. So yeah, those are two tips. And uh, another thing is, as you guys can see, I have like uh, peppers planted out in the bed there. This bed's empty. I'm kind of drying some onions that I harvested yesterday in the sun. Another reason that's uh, beneficial to stagger your planting is so that all your crops or your harvest is not coming in at the same time right because these plant peppers were planted first these ones were like maybe a month later you know my peppers are going to ripen up in that bed first then in this bed so i'll have like a continual supply of peppers and they're not going to be all there at the same time now if it's getting later in the season you know more than halfway done with the season then i would recommend you know um, not necessarily growing plants of that season for example you know, if you're growing season short in Vermont and it's four months, right, and you're already in two months in mark, uh, unless you could get like one gallon nice large tomatoes that are already established and has fruit on there, I wouldn't necessarily recommend planting those. But what I would recommend at that point is is uh, planting things like leafy greens. Leafy greens, like some of the things I got here, like, uh, you know, like lettuces and like kales, those are going to do pretty good, you know, even after the frost. These could survive frost, so if you get them established before the frost, then it frosts, you know, um, harder frost on these, lighter frost on these, they'll still survive. Now, if it's snowing, <laughs> I don't know, maybe the kale survive under the snow, but it's not going to grow. But uh, there's always a way you could grow some stuff, you know, grow some food at home. I mean, one of the other things that I'm planting are the beans. So beans are a fairly fast crop. And uh, I want to encourage you guys to take a look at the tags when you're buying the crops or on the seed packets. This one says uh, matures in 50 to 60 days, fruit size, bountiful harvest. So uh, this plant is ready in 50 to 60 days, which is just two months. So I easily have, you know, four to five months, you know, to go. So easily in two months, I'll be harvesting my beans, no problem whatsoever. So always pay attention because some plants, like the pump, one of the pumpkins I, I bought today, 120 days to harvest. So, you know, if, if you are planting late, pay attention to those numbers and when the harvest is ready, like some of the earliest tomatoes can be ready in like 50 days, like early girl tomatoes. Some of the peppers, they take a bit longer than tomatoes. So especially if you're starting later in the season, choose the varieties are gonna be ready earlier. And of course, leafy greens, as long as the plant's big and it's got leaves on it, you could harvest them and eat them. So I wanna always encourage you guys to plant leafy greens 
Um, they're some of the most beneficial foods in my opinion. The last thing I like to say is I like to give an analogy all the time, right? It's like when I was in uh, junior high school, in high school, I go to the junior high school dance and I'd be that wallflower sitting against the wall like, you know, with my back against the wall and like looking at all the cute girls like, man, I should ask one of those girls to dance. But I was too chicken to do that. And, you know, the result of that was me not dancing a dance, not getting to know girls, you know, and not dating when I was younger because I was too shy, right? And the worst thing, if I did go up to the girl and ask her to dance, she would say no, so then I was not dancing anyways. So then actually the outcome would have been the same as me not saying anything. But if she would have said yes, then I would have been dancing, could have got to know her, maybe gone on some dates and stuff like that. But I didn't even do any of that, right? So I want you guys to have the gumption and motivation to plant some plants because, you know, you could go buy the plants and plant them and they're not going to talk back to you. They're not going to tell you, no, don't plant me. <laughs> they're just going to grow. And then guess what? You're going to see what happens. Like, okay, well, I started my garden last year. And once you guys got your garden all set up, all the infrastructure, the raised beds and the irrigation in, right? Every year is a lot easier to plant because all you do is you pull the old plants, put in new plants, and you're done. I know that first time, if you've never gardened before, you gotta, you know, set up the raised beds, get the good soil, and all this kind of stuff, set it up properly. But once you got it set up, your work is really minimized. So yeah, be sure to check my past episodes on how to install a raised bed from nothing, how to select the best soil, and how to even install an irrigation system. I'll put links down below if I remember uh, to my videos so that you guys can get growing today instead of tomorrow. So yeah, your plants won't talk back to you. And then after the experience of growing, you know, maybe if you started halfway into the season, if it worked, great. You learn that you could even plant halfway in the season. Not that I necessarily recommend that, but there's benefits to doing that, like staggering your plantings. Uh, and if it doesn't work, then you're going to know, well, hey, don't plant tomatoes when I have two months left in the season, unless I get nice, large, established plants or something like that, right? And you could just have fun in the garden and give your plants a chance. Always try to grow your own food and see what happens because the worst it's going to happen is that it's not going to work and then you're going to get to learn something and then try again next time and do it a little bit differently so that you guys can be successful. One of the mottos I like to teach is good, better, best. And you know, it's always better to grow your own food even if you start later in the season than to be buying your food at the grocery store because you know you know what got sprayed on it, you know what kind of fertilizers went into it, you know exactly the process of growing the plants and how it was treated. If you guys like this short format, hey, please give me a thumbs up. It'll encourage me to do more short videos for you guys. Uh, I think I got to get actually to planting all these plants. I got over maybe about uh, 80 plants to plant today. We're going to fill up this bed with cucumbers along the middle of the trellis and then peppers along the edges. And then we're going to fill in with some uh, melons in the front bed and then some of these uh, yellow beans actually on some of my uh, trellises over there. Got some basil and some other random uh, leafy greens. I'll kind of plant out in the shade so they don't get too hot. So uh, yeah, uh, be sure to check my past episodes. I have over 1,100 episodes now teaching you guys all aspects on how to grow your own food at home. And also be sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming episodes I have coming out about every three to four days. And uh, final thoughts are really, seriously, get planting now, you know. It's only going to do you guys a favor, you and your family a favor by growing your own food, experiencing how easy it is to grow. And if you mess up, you're going to learn something in the process and then you'll be able to do it again better the next time and be successful. And that's, I'm still learning, man. You know, actually all my peppers I think I planted, they're doing good. I didn't lose any this time, you know. And sometimes I might, and that's all right, right? We could always learn from our mistakes and I learned by not going up to those girls in middle school that I should have because maybe I've been dating and have a nice solid girlfriend earlier in life. <laughs> so, uh, in any case, so once again, my name is John Kohler with GrowingYourGreens.com. We'll see you next time, and until then, remember, keep on growing. All right, this is John Kohler with GrowingYourGreens.com. Today, another exciting episode for you coming at you from my beautiful backyard garden on a beautiful spring day. Summer's almost here. Hopefully, you guys got your gardens planted out yet.